Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Back with another video. We're going to take a look at a test. And we're going to do a session between a Verizon consumer account. We're going to compare that to AT&T's FirstNet services. In the past, Verizon has been pretty much the coverage king. And because of that, government agencies, first responders, have always counted on Verizon as their main providers. FirstNet comes into play and changes everything. Now we have kind of a new thing for first responders and government agencies offered by AT&T's network operating on its own network core, separate from even that of AT&T. So what I want to do is, these are both known and, and offered as, you know, the first responder networks, Verizon traditionally and now with the first net. Although this is not a first net line, I thought it would be interesting to see how they compare under a couple of different testing scenarios. So let's go ahead and turn off airplane mode. Uh, there are, you know, limitations and stuff on my consumer line. Obviously, I'm going to just go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi. And then here with this AT&T FirstNet, there are no limitations or any type of restrictions on this line. Just make sure that this is off. Make sure the Wi-Fi doesn't kick on. We'll see that it is FirstNet. So I just want to compare a couple of different settings. This is on 5G on. This one doesn't have 5G FirstNet has not rolled out a 5G network core yet, an element that provides 5G access. That will be changing in the near future, but I would you know, think it would be important to note that. This, obviously with 5G on, Verizon does DSS 5G, they have ultra wideband. So all that is in play here. Just so you know, we won't be testing ultra wideband. I don't have a millimeter wave node in my house. Anyways, let's go ahead and run the test. This will be the first test. This is with 5G on, and of course, FirstNet AT&T is only LTE. Uh, that'll change soon. Anyways, we'll go ahead and run the first test. We'll run them simultaneously, because of course, why not? Um, I don't know what type of interference we can expect, but here we'll put them away from each other, and we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, this is a loaned line to me. I am not technically a first responder. I'm just testing, you know, this network core and how this sim performs. This is my consumer line. I've had it for uh, I don't know, at least 15, 20 years I've been a customer of Verizon's. So, always been very good and very reliable. Alright, so we got our first test. Let's see how they compare. Alright, so for Verizon, we have a ping time of 27 milliseconds. Jitter 4.7 millisecond. Downlink of 154 megabits. Uplink of 21 megabits. The AT&T FirstNet had a 25 millisecond ping with a 2.7 millisecond jitter. 113 megabits per second down and about 9.5 megabits per second up so if i'm looking at these two scores these metrics they both did very very well that is plenty of bandwidth for the downlink and that is plenty of bandwidth for the uplink obviously i think verizon holds the edge it's faster on the down and the up and that's those are really good uh let's just go ahead and test the fast.com and see what happens there. I'd be interested to see because I do get 10 megabits per second with my Verizon line. Let's see what FirstNet gives me for video on fast.com. And you'll see it is way faster. That is a specialty of AT&T and first responders. They, they don't really throttle video. They really don't. I mean, I know it tested about 100 megabits before. It was like 115. Uh, that's incredible. This I've done like 4K with this. With Verizon, but this is incredible. I mean, that's tons of bandwidth uh, or speed and throughput. So for that, uh, let's go ahead and do one more speed test here on the Ookla. And let's see what they score here. All right, so we got FirstNet on the left. We got Verizon Consumer on the right. I would love to get my hands on a Verizon first responder line just for the sake of testing. Again, I am not a first responder. All right, so here's the next test. We have... Verizon with 26 millisecond ping, 22 millisecond jitter, 81 and a half on the down, 26.6 on the up. First net, 27 millisecond ping, 45 megabits down, 10 megabits up. So really the Verizon is performing better. Uh, the tower site, probably more recently upgraded for Verizon. That's probably what we're looking at. Uh, the one thing I will say is that the pings have recently improved tremendously from first net i was typically seeing like ping times of like 47 54 milliseconds so it's basically cut in half which is great to see 
but the performance here i it looks fine to me i i don't i don't think that anything is missing anything i would need different than this but uh so far so good uh i do want to actually test this a little bit differently for this next round i'm going to go into my verizon settings i'm going to turn 5g off on the verizon line and i'm going to run it in lte so i don't know if you guys know that you can do that with the iphone you can go ahead and go into the settings turn 5g off put it in lt only because this you know if this is on 5g maybe that makes it a different performance and this this line of access the first net doesn't have 5g so let's go ahead and just do that we'll turn that on and we'll test it again all right so i'm going to run the same test one more time we have verizon on the right lt only and then we have first net on the left lt only All right, so we do have a little bit of discrepancy here. Looks like the Verizon LT is performing faster than it was on the DSS. All right, so for ping time from Verizon, we've got a 38 millisecond ping, a 1.9 millisecond jitter with 189 down and 17 up. And then for the first net, we got a 28 millisecond ping, 3.4 millisecond jitter, 110 on the down, about nine on the up. So, hey, I think we learned a little bit about these carriers right now. The LTE possibly performing better on the DSS than it was on the 5G, and you could see you get pretty good performance out of the first responder. I'm going to go ahead and do one more part to this testing. Let's go ahead and take it to the lower level, right? The thing about the first net with band 14 and, you know, the whole concept of that 700 megahertz, you know, stretching and being available everywhere you go and having that incredible priority on FirstNet, it's supposed to perform better in places with weaker signal, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the lower level. All right, y'all, we're now in the lower level of the lab here at the, uh, the SMT layer. All right, so you'll see, I'm just gonna leave the lights off for the sake of, you know, uh, the recording so you guys could see uh, the screens better, but this is a brick basement, all right? Uh, we've got drywall there. We've got brick there at the lab. All right, more bricks. This is a, you know, a, a challenging place to get a signal. Uh, the tower sites, obviously, distance are going to be important factors. We'll see how these two carriers perform for the sake of consistency. We've got the Verizon here. We've got the AT&T FirstNet here. Uh, this will be part two of the testing. I'm going to go back to my settings. I'm going to turn 5G on for the Verizon. That's the way it's designed, so let's test it that way. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test them on Ookla, Verizon on the right, first responder, AT&T first net on the left. Let's go ahead and test these suckers. All right, so Verizon, pretty impressive. 31 millisecond ping, 16 millisecond jitter, 158 down and 25 up. AT&T's first net, we have a 28 millisecond ping, 21 millisecond jitter, 96 down, 5.8 on the up. And that is with 5G on. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the Verizon settings. Let's test it with 5G off. Let's put LTE only on. All right, so we've switched it over. You'll see that it did kick into LTE. It bounced out of 5G. Let's go ahead and run the test again. This time, LTE only for both. Verizon on the right. AT&T's first net on the left. This is an iPhone 12. The one on the left is an iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, just so you guys know, this is a regular SIM card, as is this one. So... No difference in eSIM or anything like that, in case you wanted to know. So historically, traditionally, the first responder network has always been the Verizon network, government agencies and such. And then this is the new, new kid on the block. And you could see 
that Verizon is very impressive. Uh, they really are. Uh, this test uplink, not that great. Uh, this time around, Verizon with a 27 millisecond ping, 2 millisecond jitter, 125 on the down, almost 7 megabits on the up. AT&T's first net, 78 down, 5.5 on the up with a 27 millisecond ping and 1.7 millisecond jitter. We're here in the lower level of the house, a much tougher way to try to get a signal down here. Hey, tell me what you guys think. I think they held up pretty good. I'm impressed, honestly, by both carriers. I'm impressed by both providers. They offer great networks, great coverage. Here it is in, in the lower level of a house. You know, you saw the speeds and performances upstairs as well on the main level. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and sound off. Uh, you know, surprised by the findings? Uh, is it pretty much what you expected? Uh, were you expecting, you know, something more from FirstNet or Verizon? You know, give me your take. Go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. That just about does it for this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to watch. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to give this video a like and share it to all of your favorite social media platforms. Also, consider becoming a subscriber if you'd like more from the SMT and activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and you'll be the first to know when something does hit the YouTubes. Also, we've got items in the description box. We've got a Discord server. The at Tech Twitter handle is there. And there's ways to donate and support SMT creation. Uh, that pretty much does it for today. Thank you so much for being here again. Hope you have a great day and we'll hopefully see you soon on the next video. Peace.